Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Stardew Valley. So, we've just gotten our new watering can. Fancy stuff. And it's time to process some geodes. Even though we have terrible luck. Well, we got something. Actually, I'm not sure if luck determines uh, geode breaking, but I assume it does. Still, we're getting quite a few fancy minerals, and those are we're gonna hand down into the museum. Because that's largely their only purpose. The fancy stuff. Okay, that's everything he can do. We do spend our precious money though, but that's okay. I think we have... I think we have enough funds to get us to the summer. So, uh, we want to donate to the museum. Quite a few things. The aquamarine. This thingy bob. Hey, new reward. I like this. Another reward. There we go. Lots of things for the museum. Now for our rewards. Collect rewards. We got... A bit of furniture. Oh, Oh, I like this. Starfruit star seeds. Now, starfruits are pretty much, as I recall correctly, the moneymaker in this game. So they're awesome. Unfortunately, that's just a seed pack. One seed pack. Uh, we can't buy those. So, yeah, we'll see. See what we can do with them. Uh, since we're here, why the hell not? We'll, we'll run down to the beach and see if there's any salvage. I don't think there is, but uh, you never know. It's, it always seems to me that foraging stuff is uh, quite a bit scarcer towards the end of the uh, end of the uh, ah season. Still a couple of corals, ain't bad. Not as quickly. Come on, I want. You can go and use the hoe on g ground without the squigglies too, and you can actually get stuff. But it's fairly rare without the squigglies. At least anything good. I mean, if you need clay, you can do this a whole lot of things. Uh, you can dig up the whole damn uh, valley if you need clay. Uh, let's see, what's the fastest route home? Might be south near Marnie. Might as well go that route. Just in case there is something to harvest, and there is. A wild radish. Uh, it is Saturday, is the cart out? No. Isn't this where the cart is, or is it further out? The cart is here, isn't it? I don't remember. The cart with his occasional magical items. I don't remember which days it shows up on. I think it's Wednesdays and Sundays? No matter. We are gonna return home to the farm and we're gonna spend the day improving things. We're gonna do so much timber here. Yeah, it, well, pretty much all fell into the sea. So if we're gonna have a timber yard, don't <laughs> don't have it near the uh, lakes. And if chopping trees, try to chop them away from the sea. I suppose. Uh, let's see. We're gonna just go up here and uh, sort out our. Inventory, I think. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, we could probably export the corals and stuffs. That's a prime horse radish. I want to. I think I want to sell that one. 
A piece of furniture, which is kind of crap. Those things go in here. Need the stone. Uh, need the earth crystal. Let's seed pack, let's store that. Um, there we go. Okay, I think I'll finish building the paths and everything. Need to have an orderly farm. Over time we want to have, the, have an orderly farm. I could be all the other things, of course, uh, retaining soil so we didn't have to water them as much, that sort of thing. But yeah. I'm gonna go all the way on this side first, I think. Oh, there's a small tree behind here. Ah, okay, let's let's get the big tree first though. All in all, it's gone been a fairly good summer to be honest. I've been able to harvest quite a few things. Uh, pickaxe. go. Uh, let's see, we're gonna build the uh, road on the northern side outside the greenhouse, I think. Oh, you're at the ki kitty. I'm sorry, kitty. Forgot about you. There you go. Must be good to the cat, right? Even though he's kind of a Freeloader, to be honest. Uh, da, 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 because I don't think he chases away rats or anything like that. I don't think the I don't think the animals have any kind of function. And let's see. Oh, the axe maybe. There we go. It's getting late. That's fine. Our goal of the day is pretty much just to sort this out so we're, well, slightly more prepared for the future seasons. I think we have... Oh, is that a tree? Yeah, it is. Get rid of it. And then some more cobblestone pots. I should be kind of careful, actually, because I don't want to spend all my stone doing this, either. But at least now I'll have the ability to navigate the farm a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna be. We're gonna call it there. I think we're just gonna return, dump in the uh, construction materials. Uh, there we there. Da, 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 that one, that one. Great. And the other thing, or the other th other things are gonna go in this bin. And we're gonna place that lovely piece of furniture. And it's gonna be whoa a geo. Let's just park it up in the corner. So there we go. Fantastic. And then we're going to organize our inventory. Kazam! And that's going to be the day. So now it's the final day of spring. And I think we're going to spend that tilling the soil. So, what will today bring? Yeah, clear and sunny, that's quite expected. What about our luck? Mildly perturbed, okay. 
Queen of Sauce is going to teach us to make an omelette. Simple dish, but so often done incorrectly. A perfect omelette is a thing of beauty. It's a pure golden angel of gleaming egg. And I'm going to show you my secret method. Okay, there we go. We can now cook omelettes. Of course, we need a chicken coop and chickens in order to, <laughs> in order to do that. But hey, we now have fancy tools, so we can do this. Haha. -ha. So basically, we can now uh, till more soil for the same amount of energy. That's the whole concept. That's why you upgraded our tools. Oh, this is actually the edge, is it? Okay, so I can't actually do that. Oh, uh, okay. I can still, of course, still do the one tile thing. But uh, again, it's more energy efficient to do this kind of stuff. So yeah, we're going to be tilling the soil. gonna make a lot of blueberries tomorrow or plant a lot of blueberries tomorrow and uh, so yeah tomorrow is Wednesday and it, actually no it's yeah it's Monday never mind I forget that this game has a bit different concept of time given how each uh, week each month is exactly 28 days That's true. Fertilizer. I kind of forgot about that. We want to consider that as well. We want as much as we can done before tomorrow. Now obviously some of these fields are gonna return to the default state anyway. That's just what, what's going to happen during the night, since there isn't any crop in them. But still, it's going to save us some energy and time tomorrow. So it ain't all bad. I don't know how many blueberries we can actually farm though, or plant. Don't know how much we can afford. But we're gonna try to get as much as possible done. Or rather, as much as possible planted. Because again, the goal of the game right now, for, for us at least, is to make a ton of money. So we can start buying all. Not only get the membership with the Georgia March, but also be able to afford all their services. Kind of, kind of surprised if we managed to do all that. Um, let's see. We want to build two things. Fertilizer and scarecrows. And so we need wood, coal and fiber. And for the fertilizer, we just need sap. Okay. want one more scarecrow and these should have a range of eight so we probably don't need one until say yeah let's plant it there probably don't need it for the probably don't need it closer uh, we're probably gonna actually want to move the other scarecrow Which we do like this, I think, if I remember. There we go. And I'm gonna move that slightly more in the middle. Uh, let's put it there. There we go. One square further. Still early in the day. Let's keep going. 
Now if we're gonna fertilize all of this, we're gonna need a lot more sap. So that means we need to cut a hell of a lot of trees. Should be fine though. Everything's fine. So, tomorrow we're gonna start the day by uh, watering the whole darn area. Because the um, Pierre won't open until 9 anyway. Ah, come on. Oh. Ah. There we go. Yeah, Pierre won't open until 9, so I think watering the entire area here until then is a good idea. You can also fertilize before then. What's this? Is that just a little bush? There we go. Better than this little farmer. Come on, there we go. It does expend a fair bit of energy, obviously, but that's okay. But that's why we're doing this now, not tomorrow. Though it's... Don't let think about it. It might actually be useless, because the season will cause... Significantly more deterioration, deterioration, won't it? Season change. Oh, didn't think about that. Uh, we'll see what happens. As for now, we're gonna go and cut down trees. If I could, like, pick the axe. There we go. Sap now. Should be getting an energy warning fairly soon. Uh, what time is it? It is. Okay, fair enough. Let's eat. Again, these are not the best things, obviously. There are quite a few foodstuffs that do a hell of a lot better than these berries, but they were very cheap to get, very easy to get, so why the hell not? Ooh, squigglies! Let's get the squigglies. Just a bit of stone, boo. Why couldn't it be some ground treasure? Now, most of the farm is getting to be a bit uh, tidy, to be honest. Which is fine by me. Tidy farm is good. But again, uh, things are gonna grow back. So... It ain't gonna yeah, be that way forever. And we do still have saplings, as you can see. They'll grow into full trees over time. So we can focus on the big trees, unless we need the area for farming. Hmm. Oh, yeah, whoops, running out of energy again. Munchies! It is... 5pm? Yeah, there we go. Ah, whoops. Not the tree I wanted to cut. Well, that's a small tree. Not what I wanted either. That's the one I wanted to cut. I think 
this is gonna be the last stream. I mean, it's fine. I could keep going with it and just apply more energy. But I think this is gonna be fine. And let's go and uh, do some constructionings. You're gonna go there, there. Stone and the hemp and the clay. Uh, that's all pine cones and stuffs. So, let's have a look. What's going to actually build these days? Is there anything fun that I should consider building? We could build the preserve jars. And the tappers. We do have the ability to build them at least. But uh, maybe not just yet. We're starting to get iron bars, so we could even consider a bee house for honey. Don't think I'd want to, though. As for the ring, well, that could have been a possibility, I suppose. But, eh. What I do think we want to build is the fertilizer. Let's see... Isn't there a... There we go. Shift key. 78 bits of fertilizer. That's gonna help us tomorrow. That seems fair enough. It is still early, this is true. And we didn't water the cat again. Let's water the let's go and water the cat. Oh, it almost took all our energy. Okay, I think that's good enough. Let's get a good night's rest because tomorrow is the first day of summer. And life is gonna get interesting. So, here we go. Uh, spreading weeds, okay. Spreading weeds have caused damage. Don't like the sound of that. New music, it is summer. It's gonna be clear and sunny. What about our luck today? Neutral spirits. Living off the land, what do you have to tell me? Summer's here, along with a whole slew of new crops to plant. Take hops, for example. The vines take a while to grow, but once they're m mature, they can be harvested every day. Good luck. Yeah, let's see for the damage then. Ah, yeah, okay, so the damage was complete. I was kind of hoping that that would happen, but I misremembered how this actually works. Dang it. So they weren't kidding when they say uh, the weeds cause damage. Actually, they are causing damage. I thought stone paths were... Uh, impervious to these things, but apparently I'm wrong. Okay. First of all, we're gonna deposit these things. We have mail, so let's go and check that. Hey there, I have some extra wood laying around. I thought you could use it. Okay, take care. Thank you, Robin. 90 bits of wood. Okay, so we'll do a couple of things. First of all, we'll water the cat. <laughs> I say water the cat. I, I just, it sounds fun to me, so I'm gonna say that all the time. Water the cat. Okay, so it's gonna be impossible to preserve, uh, say, things like... Uh, things like water retention and that sort of thing across seasons then. Because all the fields will be go fallow. Okay, I didn't remember that, but uh, okay. Again, it's been a long time since I played this significantly, so. But that's fine. So, everything we did yesterday, <laughs> well, most of what we did yesterday, is now futile, but that's fine. We still need to do a bit of this anyway. Pierre isn't open yet. Well, that was a cloud. I was wondering why things suddenly get, go, grew dark up there. And at this point, I think it's safe to run off, off to Pierre. He should be open for business. And now that now it's the spring, so as you can see, the colors are going to change on the home. Uh, yeah, the environment is going to change. The grass is going to be a little bit greener. That sort of thing. It's kind of cool. 
You need a ripe radish. Uh, we don't have any radishes. We have wild horse radishes, and we can't grow one single uh, one in a single day. So, still, it is spring, new crops, and that's what we're gonna buy, be buying: blueberry seeds, and only blueberry seeds. I do believe they are by far the most efficient. So again, if we want to go and complete all the various achievements and stuffs, or yeah, all meet all the people, then you want to diversify your crops. But we are going to be doing this for the money, and that means blueberry seeds. For now, though, it is time for a break, I think. And we'll buy our seeds and we'll start planting and get on with summer. Thank you for watching.